you need some more air air more up tempo Sam coming at you from Six Reviews, and today I have an unboxing for you guys. It's actually a really old school unboxing. It's probably the oldest shoe in my collection right now, and I just picked it up for forty dollars, four zero dollars. That's like Canadian, so it's about thirty American dollars. I've been wanting this shoe for a while. It just came out in the black, it came out in the white and red, and now I have a colorway that I think is probably the nicest out of the three that I just named, but I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now because I will show you the shoe in three, two, one. Boom shakalaka laka boom. Oh my goodness. This is the Nike Air More Up Tempo. And it is dead stock, and it might not look dead stock to you because if you look at the air bubble, and it looks like it's yellowing, and all that means is that it's a dead stock pair from 1996. That this shoe came out when I was 10 years old. This shoe came out before a lot of you guys were even born. And this is a shoe that I believe is a sexy shoe and it's underrated because yeah, Jordan had his line, Jordan just blew up with his shoes, but this is Scotty Pippen's shoe. Pippen wore these, he represented hard in these. This is what he wore in the 1996 Olympics. Now it's not the dream team because 92 was the dream team. However, this is the shoe that he wore in the 1996 Olympics. I don't mind the air bubbles it just it just really adds character to the shoe I'm just glad to have an OG shoe in my collection now that I feel is dope as heck I won't mind beating this to the ground because I only got it for $40 I'll give you guys a quick 360 here now we have air written from here it's kind of big it's kind of obnoxious but at the same time it kind of works you have Scotty Pippen as he wore number eight during the Olympics. You got a chubby Nike sign right here. You have air coming back the other way. Oof. You have the Nike check on the sole. And most importantly, I guess it, you can say that it runs with the Olympic colors as you got the red here, but that's the only color lacking. What I love about Team USA colorways is the fact that white, blue, and red, blue, white, and red, whatever, it looks good, it's a good colorway. And I'm not American, so I don't really care about that. But that colorway also works with the Korean flag. So, what can I do? The Korean flag is represented, and it is a beautiful looking shoe. The reason why he was able to sell it to me, oh, I didn't even tell you who sold it to me. Christian from Sneaker Talk, a quick OOTD. This is his t-shirt, go support him. I'll put a link of his channel, or a link of his website where you can support him with the shirts. They're dope, they look good on me. I look good in anything though, just kidding. I just, I, that was really cocky, I don't mean that. This is just a good shirt. Anyways, the reason why he was able to sell these to me for $40, that's what he picked it up for, was because there was an event where they had a bunch of OG sneakers for $40 Canadian, and all the proceeds went to Sick Kids, I think it's Sick Kids, it's again on top of my head. But all the proceeds went to a charity, and that is an amazing deal. Not only do you get a shoe out of it, but also your money goes to a good cause. They've been retroing this shoe a lot and they've been selling out. They're not sitting on shoe, know, shoes. They're not sitting on shelves. Now, when this one does come out in July, I'm telling you right now, most likely they're not gonna sit on shelves. And actually, there's one thing I do wanna mention about this shoe, or maybe not, it's not even about this shoe, but it's about Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen does not get as much credit as he deserves. Now, people might go crazy in saying that because he is a top 50 greatest player of all time, and he was announced that, I think it was in 1996. However, I believe that Scottie Pippen deserves more love on the court, and his playing style was ridiculous, and that should translate to the love of the shoes. And you know what I wanna say about Scottie Pippen, and you can even add Tony Kukoc to that conversation, is the fact that Scottie Pippen and Tony Kukoc would work 
beautifully in today's NBA and you would see them still dominate. Yes, Jordan would dominate, of course. Do Jordan would just be ridiculous in today's NBA. But Tony Kukoc and Scottie Pippen with their length, agility, shooting ability, def defensively they were just unstoppable. He's like Defensively, he's Draymond Green before Draymond Green was Draymond Green. I just said Draymond Green so many times. All I'm trying to say is that Scottie Pippen deserves more credit on the court and I also believe he deserves more credit when it comes to these beautiful shoes. In the comment section below, tell me your oldest pair in your collection. For me now, this pair takes, takes it all. This is from 1996. I don't have a shoe that's older than that for sure. This is 20 years old. Now tell me your oldest shoe in your collection. If you guys can, press that like button, press that subscribe button. Guys, really subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to give you guys as much content as I can. I can't promise you daily videos, but I'm trying about four to five a week. And no, I'm not trying to copy crew kicks. I'm just letting you know, I'm trying to give you guys as much content and fun, enjoyable content to watch. But if you guys can, just help me out. Press that subscribe button, like, and comment. Follow me on Samsa TRD, my Instagram, Samsa TRD. Follow me on Snapchat, SJMS86. This is your boy, Six Sam, coming at you from Six Reviews. Woo! Hey, we out.